The three manual pipe organ was built in the south transept by Bishop and Sons in 1905 at a cost of £600. The casing is made of teak as the organ was originally intended for export to India when built. For many years before and during the Second World War, the organ suffered due to a leaking roof and cold church. When built it had a charged pneumatic action, for which an electric blower was installed after electric power was brought into the church in 1946. A major refurbishment of the organ was undertaken in March 1973 by J.W. Walker and Sons. The organ has 24 speaking stops containing approximately 1,600 pipes and is listed by the British Institute of Organ Studies in the National Pipe Organ Register. It was awarded Historic Organ Certificate Grade 2 in 2010. Although generally the structure and pipework of the organ appears to be in good order, in recent years an increasing number of notes have not been working at the time of tuning. Typically at each visit the tuners have had to try to repair some 20 notes not working across the three manuals and pedals. Before the refurbishment, on average some 12 notes were not working properly on the swell, making it almost unusable except as support for a lead played on the grate. The parish commissioned three surveys of the instrument. In the opinion of all three firms, simply re-leathering would not be a reliable medium long term solution. Not only would it be relatively expensive, the previous re-leathering in 1973 did not prove to be a long term solution, as motors started to fail soon after its completion. Accordingly, they all recommended that the action should be partially converted to electro-pneumatic to eliminate the weakest point, the touch boxes, tubing runs, and coupling machines which comprise the tubular pneumatic action. All the mechanical levers behind the manuals and coupler controls would be replaced by an electrical system but leaving the upper part of the organ pneumatic. This would get rid of a lot of the mechanisms behind the consoles which in their view would be inaccessible for repair providing a lot more space for working inside the organ yet leaving the more reliable pneumatic parts unchanged. With only limited funds available, the parish decided to explore the alternative option of purchasing an electronic digital organ. Discussions with various suppliers and the needs of the church resulted in a cost-effective specification for a two-manual digital electronic organ at a cost of between twenty-five and twenty-eight thousand pounds. In August 2013, it was decided to recommend to the PCC that an electronic organ be purchased. Subsequently, the PCC, based on the experience with a lone electronic organ, decided that a strong preference of the congregation would be for renovating the pipe organ if funds could be raised. Three firms of organ builders were asked to provide up-to-date estimates for the cost of renovation and refurbishment of the pipe organ. Subsequently, the contract was awarded to Tarquin Wiggins Limited at a cost of £58,600, excluding VAT. The renovation of the organ began in March 2015 with the removal of the keyboards. This was followed with the dismantling of the tracker mechanism behind the console. The stripping down of the organ continued through April. The lead piping was disconnected with the stop lever. The swell rod linkages and the tracker mechanism and pedal board were dismantled and removed. New parts started to arrive and the organ builders set up their work area. The swell box was opened up and the swell pipes removed. The lungs of the organ were the next to be removed. The great division was revealed after removal of decorative pipes and wooden pipes from the side. 
Back at the organ builder's workshop, the wind chest was refurbished. The wooded flues are stacked up, awaiting cleaning. The organ now stood, stripped back to the bones. Cleaning of the decorative pipes continued. Parts of the organ's new brain started to arrive. Refurbishment of the mechanism continued at a pace. May heralded in the ongoing cleaning and renovation and the start of the installation of the new electronics. In the workshops, the primary motors were refurbished and new components made for them. The organ's lungs continued to receive attention with the fitting of refurbished motors. The new chest magnet relay boxes were installed. This converts electric signals into pneumatic action. New shelving was installed to support new electric solenoid units connected to the levers that operate the swell mechanism rods and rank sliders. More shelving was installed to support new electric solenoid units connected to the levers that operate the original grate and choir rods and rank sliders. Here we see a magnet relay box after connection to the pneumatic action of the upper organ. All the swell pipes were removed for cleaning and renovation and were grouped into ranks. The swell box was now empty. Here we see the swell pipes are refurbishment and fitting with new tuning collars. After the cleaning and refurbishment, it was time to reinstall the swell division pipes. The organ had part of its voice restored, but the wind chest still needed some attention. The great division pipes that had been removed await their cleaning and renovation. Here we see some of the larger metal and wooden great division flue pipes. We see a rank of great division pipes after fitting with new tuning collars. Now the great division pipes were reinstalled. May ended with new shelving being installed to support the new computer equipment. June begins. This was a busy month installing the console components and the wiring of all units. The cleaning of the bellows continued and a new flexible leather collar to channel pressurised air from the bellows to the pipes was installed. Here we see the refurbished swell and pedal divisions and coupler stops after re-engraving and the colouring of the coupler stops to red is complete. Here we see a rear view of the stops which have new solenoids fitted. Also the refurbished great and choir divisions stops are re-engraved and here we see the rear view which has new solenoids fitted. A new pedal board arrived.
The rear of the swell and pedal divisions and coupler stops are wired up and were connected to a new wiring board. The new pedal board and tow pistons were installed. The newly manufactured and renovated pipes were returned. The ongoing wiring work continued. In July, it was time to bring it all together with the installation of a temporary keyboard, wiring, testing and tuning. The stop level solenoid units were wired up. The chest magnet relay boxes and the wireboard were connected. Here we see the controller for the choir and great divisions rank slider lever solenoid units. Finally, the main control computer was hooked up. We have preserved a selection of components of the old action inside the organ with the original keyboards for future reference. The organ renovation was now complete. The organ was rededicated on St Luke's Day Sunday the 18th of October 2015 by the Bishop of London, the Right Reverend and Right Honourable Dr Richard Chartres, 